My name is Jack Wells, and this is Colton Nelson. Our Breakthrough 20 project was designed to help Dr. Schwartz avoid throwing fish carcasses in the dumpster. We looked at potential solutions, including turning the waste into fish meal, fish oil, or fertilizer, and finally decided on fish meal production as the most efficient route. To do this, we designed a small-scale fish meal production plant, which would utilize the fish carcasses from the aquaculture system and return the waste to the system in the form of fish meal. The constraints of the project are to be able to fit an upstairs lab floor and be under $2,500. A brief overview of our final design is shown to the right by this process flow diagram. Here we see raw fish carcass undergoing the cooking, pressing, drying, and grinding processes to become fish meal. The first process to take place is cooking. The purpose of this process is to free the oil from the fat deposits of the fish waste and condition the waste for multi-step processes involved in the making of fish meal. The optimum temperature for cooking occurs at 95 degrees Celsius, which occurs at a rapid rate. To ensure that there is not over drying and proper removal of liquid and oil from the fish, a gravity convection oven is used and features a vertical air circulation pattern with low air turbulence to ensure even heating and accurate temperatures. Fortunately, this oven comes in at a price of $815, which is under budget to the $2,500 limit that Dr. Schwartz gave us. With this particular oven, we will have the ability to place pans lined with wax paper in the racks of the oven to hold the fish meal waste on the racks of the shelving. After the cooking process is complete, the trays can be pulled from the oven and poured into a holding tank to move into its next process within the fish meal system. After the fish carcasses have been cooked, they move into the pressing stage. Here, a tapered screw conveys and compresses material, which forces water and oil out of a perforated pipe. Shown at the right is an example of a similar application with cow manure instead of fish meal. As the auger spins, the liquid is forced out of the pipe while the solids push out the other side. The process flow for the pressing stage is relatively simple. The cooked fish goes into a reservoir where it is pushed through a pipe with the, with the tapered screw. The liquid drains out of the perforated pipe and down to a waste reservoir. The press kit continues moving along the screw until it is deposited into a holding area for the next stage, which is drying. The major components of the design include a 6 inch diameter tapered screw, a 6 inch diameter perforated pipe, and an 8 inch diameter PVC pipe for liquid drainage. A small 1 3rd horsepower electric motor provides the rotation for the screw. The approximate total cost of the major components is $540. Now that the majority of the liquid has been removed from the fish waste in the pressing process, the press kit can be put into the drying process. To start off the drying process, a sample of press cake will be put into the oven in lab 4 to determine the oven weight of the press cake and then we'll be able to find the incoming moisture content of the press cake. Wax paper will be placed into the steel pans shown on the right and the buckets of press cake will be spread evenly into the steel pans to be put into the dehydrator in lab 4. The cost of the drying process is $105 for the 5 steel pans. After putting the steel pans in the dehydrator, it will be operated at its max temperature of 155 degrees Fahrenheit in order to get the press cake to 12% moisture content or lower. Since the incoming moisture content is known, the mass of each pan for 12% moisture will be calculated and obtained at a certain time. The press cake will be measured at different time intervals to ensure that the moisture content is 12% or lower as well. At this time, the press cake can be classified as fish meal because it is, because it is below the 12% moisture content. This fish meal will then go into the grinding process. After the fish material has been dried, the final process is grinding up the fish, the dried fish material. The optimum system operation comes when the incoming fish material has below 12% moisture content. Grinding turns dry bricks of fish carcass into powder, which can be mixed into animal feed. The grinder chosen for this design is an impact pulverizer hammer mill. 
which uses small hammers attached to a shaft to repeatedly smash material until it is small enough to exit the mesh screen at the bottom. Typical particle sizes which can exit the mesh are 1.2 to 3 millimeters. A person manually moves a fish material from the dryers into the mill entrance, where it is crushed into fish meal and exits the mill into a bucket of finished product. This finished product can be mixed with animal feed or given directly to the fish in the aquaculture pond. In summary, our fish meal production design helps reduce waste and decrease costs. The basic components include a cooker, presser, dryer, and grinder, which turns raw fish into usable fish meal.